rats. They're small, they're vicious, and they've infested Warfare. Not the four-legged plague carrying kind, but something far worse. I'm talking about these. Some are good, some are bad, and some are fringe. Because of the severity of this infestation, I have taken it upon myself to document and rank these abominations from worst to best via a tier list. But before we start, I need to explain what makes a vehicle a rat. For a vehicle to qualify, it needs to be small, fast, and generally be a pain in the ass to deal with. Ah! The best rat vehicles make you feel like a truly awful human being when you use them, mainly because of how easily you can dismantle enemy units piece by piece. So without further ado, it is time to rat. First on our list is the Italian AB-41. It's armed with a 20mm autocannon and has armor weaker than cardboard. Its only redeeming quality is that it's somewhat speedy, but this is negated by the fact that it's the size of a small house, just like your mother. <laughs> but Mr. Bucket, you might say, it's a reserve vehicle with a 20mm autocannon. Shouldn't it be able to win fights so long as it cheats first? You'd think that, but its autocannon sucks. Not only does it do about as much damage as a limp noodle, but it's also limited to stupid 8-round magazines that take forever to reload. It's basically a sad, soggy, obese knockoff of a puma. F tier. Ah yes, the L333. This tank is very, very small. So small, in fact, that it isn't even tank, but rather a tankette which is possibly the saddest, most impotent-sounding word in the English language, other than bumper shoot. It's smaller than your redneck uncle's hot tub, it's decently quick, and packs a 20mm anti-tank rifle. As you likely suspected, it gets absolutely waffle stomped 90% of the time it gets in a fight, mainly because even at BR 1.0, its gun can't do enough damage fast to stop most enemy vehicles before they blow it up. Its only hope is to stay hidden and try and target critical components, but even if it gets the first shot off, it's still likely to get obliterated. At the end of the day, this is pretty much just a meme tank. Fun to use, but completely ineffective. D tier. <clears throat> oh, and for some reason the French have a very similar vehicle to it, the AMR 35 ZT3. It's literally just an L3 but flipped and with a slightly larger 25mm anti-tank cannon as its primary armament. So yeah, pretty much just an L3 but... French. F tier. Staying on the trend of L3-like vehicles, we have the Italian 4733 L40. This thing's basically an upgraded L3. It has an additional Italian fellow, a bigger 47mm cannon, and a bit more armor. Unfortunately, this makes it slower and a bigger target. But even though this thing has a lot of downsides, the new gun somewhat cancels them out. It's able to one-shot pretty much anything at BR 1.3, and the reload isn't actually that bad. So long as you play with at least a small portion of your brain, you should be able to do fine with this thing. All in all, it's nothing remarkable. It has none of the, wow, this thing's so bad it's fun, energy of the L3. Traded that for the ability to be a mediocre tank destroyer. C tier. Moving on, we have the Swedish... P -p -p 42. This thing is just kind of weird. Ah! Not necessarily bad, just weird. It has a normal looking chassis, but the turret? Well, it's less of a turret, more of a big hunk of sheet metal with a 20mm auto cannon sticking out of it. And you better hope that big radar dish stops any incoming fire, because this thing only has two crew members, so if your gunner dies, it's fully out of commission. That being said, its auto cannon is pretty good. It has decent capacity, a high rate of fire, and in close quarters, it can absolutely mutilate most tanks at 1.7. Its only issues are the massive amount of bullet drop, and the fact that past 100 meters it struggles to penetrate armor. But you'll hardly notice either of those effects so long as you only engage enemies that are close to you. As stated previously, it's weird, but by no means is it bad. B tier. 
Now we're getting to the good stuff. This is the SD KFZ 221. A German armored car equipped with a semi-fixed breech-loading 28 by 20 millimeter squeeze bore cannon, which is very, very good. Um. This thing can front pin anything it sees at 1.0, mainly because of the insanely high velocity at which it shells move. But on top of that, it's also blisteringly fast, topping out at around 80 kilometers per hour. It absolutely zooms across maps, and it can turn on a dime because of its all-wheel steering, which negates the fact that the gun has a limited swivel range. If you want to get the most out of this tank, I'd suggest you use it to quickly move to the flank of a highly trafficked location, and then pick off targets from a distance as they move by. So yeah, very good. A tier. This is the SD KFZ 222 also known as the King of Drive-Bys. Ah! And for good reason. It's essentially an SD KFC 221, but instead of having a single-shot breech-loading cannon, it packs a 20mm anti-aircraft gun. However, we will not be using it against aircraft. Instead, load it with armor-piercing rounds, and then use its cockroach-like speed to sneak up on unsuspecting enemy tanks, and then unload. The only downside to this tiny German murder wagon is the cannon feeds using stupid 10 round magazines that take a stupidly long amount of time to reload. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey! Fortunately, this isn't an issue, so long as you use armor piercing rounds, which can incapacitate pretty much anything at BR 2.0 with less than 10 shots. It's fast, it's deadly, and it's a nearly perfect rat. A tier. Gentlemen, after lots of time classifying and studying these file creatures, I'm proud to say that we have reached the peak of the rat pile. The rat kings, if you will. While other rodent-like vehicles have their good points, these next vehicles are truly the best. This is the M22 Locust. This is what comes to most people's minds when they think of a rat in one. It's small, it's fast, it has a very good 37mm cannon, and on top of all of that, it can take a beating. Because of this, when playing the M22, I like to use a strategy called the Tactical Headbutt. To execute this maneuver, you must first locate an enemy tank, then charge towards them at full speed until you slam into their hull. After that, dump as many 37mm rounds as you can into them at point blank range. Ah, don't kill me! Not only does this scare the piss out of the usually low level victim, but it's also a funny and reliable way to get a kill. However, this thing works fine pretty much no matter how you use it. S tier. This is the Rat King, the Italian R3 T20. <laughs> it's decently fast, decently maneuverable, yada 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 yada. What you really need to know about this vehicle, and what makes it a great rat, is its ability to ruin the enemy team's enjoyment of the game. It's been shoved all the way up to BR 5.7, which means that sometimes you just won't be able to kill some of the enemies you come across, even though you have a high-capacity 20mm auto cannon. But that doesn't matter, because you don't necessarily need kills. If you see a heavily armored enemy tank, simply take out their main gun and machine gun, then shoot off their treads. Not only does this almost guarantee you get an assist, but you also single-handedly ruin the other person's game. Because instead of just sending them back to the hangar screen, they're now sitting paralyzed in a field, unable to help themselves, all because of you. Release me! If you come across something that isn't heavily armored, just use your speed to flank it, and then once you're nice and close, pose it down. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, it can swim. Mama huevo. Digo glu 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 glu. S tier. Well, that's the end of the list. Now, this is where you come in. Leave a comment telling me your favorite rat that was or wasn't on this list. If I get enough, then maybe, just maybe, I'll make a part two. Also, please subscribe and go watch my video about the F-14B. This is not a request. If you don't, I will steal your cottage cheese. Okay, goodbye.